so dashboards like this i'll select anywhere you can select it don't worry so every area is the same dashboards it can write to display so here once you see i just if simply i'll click on dashboards so there are already predefined dashboards are ready to this up here i think it will take a little bit time See, these are all our dashboards. What is mean by dashboard? Dashboard is nothing but the collection of all reports and grouping together and make it as a so dashboard. So reports, all kind of the different different type of reports are combining together and make it to display in a one area. Like a so incident overview. This I'll click on this one incident overview. You can see here how it will be. The dashboard will be there. So I think it is taking a little bit of time. Yeah, you can see here. So it's loading. So the reports are all see here. All are different, different type of reports. Once you see, so numbers are then a 0, 25, 12, 54, 40, like this. So these are all our reports. So each and every report is just yeah, having some space and it can try to show. So that is called as a dashboard. This is totally we call as a dashboard. The group of all reports, how to create the um, dashboards that is also very important, right? So, I'll go back and I'll create the new dashboard. So, just you can see here, let's create a dashboard. I'll click on create a dashboard, I'll give a name, for example, this I'll create a name is a so incident. State, states report, state report. So this is a dashboard. I just am ready to create it. Okay, let it be. So remaining everything, I will keep it empty and simply I will click on uh, right click on header and I will click on save. So then what will happen? You can see. So now we'll go to the so visible to everyone. So for whom it will write to visible. That is also very important, right? So here there is a view dashboard is there now, you can see. So these are all our options are just, you can go one by one, you can see here. And next one is a view dashboard is there. Simply you can click on view dashboard. Now we can create and multiple reports I'll add on this page. So see here, add widgets to using the widget picker. Where is the picker? So here add widgets, like you see here. So simply you can click on visit picker so here's the design now you can select it favorites not a favorites now i'm just i want to bring a reports so here so just able tutor progress in state wise is there now you can select it, this one see just now what i created this and select it and add this one you can see so it's adding or not so it added so if you want to uh select it one more one you can select it. So more reports, your wish, what you want to just create, everything, everything you just ready to add all those things. See, and if you want to just configuration item, what kind of the colors, background colors, for example, background colors, I don't want to use that one, like this background color is a different, like this. So your wish. So what you want to do that, everything you can do as per your so specifications like this and you can see here so like this like this see i'm ready to just make it as a smaller one and uh, i'll make it as a refresh also everything everything you can do it for example i need to share like this all right you can see like this i'll keep it so drag and drop methodology everything is your just drag and drop methodology you can utilize it and you can make it as a so as per your specification wise so you can create your dashboards and reports okay so now it is up to uh so room version or orlando version and up to that versions the reports are enough but now it is the dashboards are very very important 
in a Tokyo and San Diego version, in a Utah version. So these all versions are using the dashboards are very, very important in organizations also. They may ready to ask to create a reports in a dashboards, especially. Okay. Because so if this it is very simple way, all the, the kind of the like incidents and the, what does it means? Um, if any changes, every area. So for example, I need to see that incident progress. Yes, one section, I just I'll keep it as a in this ex, uh, section, I will keep it as incident values. And in this section, I will keep it as a uh, any changes will be there. Change form is there, any change form values will keep it. Everything. So all together and make it as a one dashboard. So all reports are ready to make it. So one area that is called as a dashboard. So that's all for today's session. I hope you understood.